One of the most incredible stories of courage and faith in the Bible is the story of David and Goliath. 1 Samuel 17 This isn't just about a shepherd boy and a giant. It's about facing your greatest fears, trusting God in the midst of impossible odds and experiencing victory through His power. Picture this. The nation of Israel is at war with the Philistines. Two armies are camped on opposite sides of a valley. Every single day, for 40 days, a giant named Goliath steps out from the Philistine camp. He mocks and challenges the Israelites. This isn't just any giant. Goliath is over nine feet tall, a massive warrior, clothed in bronze armor. His spear is like a weaver's rod, and he carries a sword that could cut through anything. He's intimidating, terrifying, unbeatable, at least in the eyes of the Israelites. No one dared to fight him. Fear gripped their hearts. For 40 days, not a single soldier stepped forward. Now imagine how hopeless that situation felt. Have you ever been there? Maybe you're facing a problem so big, so overwhelming, that you don't see a way out. It feels like a giant standing in your way, taunting you day after day. Maybe it's a health issue, a financial burden, a broken relationship, or a struggle in your spirit. Goliath represents the giants in our lives, those things that make us feel small, powerless, and stuck. But then, here comes David. He's not a soldier. He's just a young shepherd boy. He wasn't even supposed to be at the battlefield. David was simply delivering food to his older brothers, who were part of the army. But when David arrived, he heard Goliath's taunts. He saw the fear paralyzing his people, and something shifted inside him. So David stepped up. He refused the king's armor and weapons, saying, I cannot go in these. I'm not used to them. 1 Samuel 17.39 David didn't need the world's tools to win this battle. All he needed was his sling, five smooth stones, and his faith in God. As David approached Goliath, the giant laughed and mocked him, saying, in 1 Samuel 17 verse 43, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? But David didn't flinch. He looked Goliath straight in the eyes and declared, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. 1 Samuel 17, 45. This is the key to victory, trusting not in our own strength, but in the power of God. When we face challenges, we can declare, I don't come in my own power, but in the name of the Lord Almighty. Whatever giant you are facing right now, declare it. I am not alone. God is with me. David ran towards Goliath. With one stone, he brought the giant down. That single stone, launched with faith, struck Goliath in the forehead, and the giant fell face down to the ground. What an incredible moment of victory. This young shepherd boy, who no one believed in, who had no armor, no experience, and no chance, brought down a giant that terrified an entire army, not because of his own strength, but because of his faith in God. This story is more than just history. It's a promise for you and me. You may be facing giants right now that seem impossible to overcome. But remember this, God is bigger than any giant. Just as he was with David, he is with you. The battle isn't yours alone, it belongs to the Lord. When you trust him, he will give you the strength and courage to bring down the giants in your life. Your victory is on the way. Don't be discouraged by what you see in front of you. Goliath may be big, but our God is bigger. The world may tell you that your situation is hopeless, but God says, with me, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. You may feel like you're just a shepherd in the midst of warriors, but God sees a mighty warrior inside you. Trust God. Run towards your giant with confidence and watch as he brings you to victory. Now let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we come before you today. We are humbled by your greatness and power. We recognize that you are the God of miracles. You are the God who gives us strength when we feel weak. You provide courage when we feel afraid. And you offer hope when we face impossible situations. Just as you were with David in the face of Goliath, we trust that you are with us right now. You are with us in whatever battle we're facing. Lord, we thank you for the story of David. It reminds us that no giant is too big, no problem is too overwhelming. Because you, Lord, are always greater. You are the one who goes before us. You are the one who fights for us. And you are the one who gives us victory. Father, right now we bring before you the giants in our lives, whether it's a battle with illness, a struggle with finances, a broken relationship, or deep personal challenges, we lay them at your feet. We confess that sometimes, like the Israelites, we feel paralyzed by fear. We feel overwhelmed by the size of the problem. But today, we choose to shift our eyes from the giant to you, our mighty God. Lord, we ask for your strength, just as you gave David the courage to stand firm in the face of Goliath. We ask that you fill us with supernatural strength. When we feel weak, remind us that in our weakness, your power is made perfect. We cannot do this on our own, but with you, we can face anything. We declare that the battle belongs to you, Lord. We don't fight in our own power, but in the name of the Lord Almighty, Father, Give us courage. When fear tries to take hold of our hearts, remind us of your presence. Remind us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Help us to step out in faith like David, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. You are our shield, our protector, and our fortress. No weapon formed against us shall prosper because you surround us with your favor and grace. We thank you, Lord, for the victories you have already given us. We take a moment to remember all the times you've delivered us in the past, when you healed us, when you provided for us, when you made a way where there seemed to be no way. Just as David remembered how you delivered him from the lion and the bear, we choose to remember your faithfulness. If you did it before, you will do it again. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. And now we pray for healing. For anyone battling sickness or disease right now, we declare your healing touch over their bodies. You are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. Your word says that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. So we stand on that promise today, believing for complete healing, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Let your healing power flow into every area of our lives, Lord. Father, we declare victory over every situation. Just as you gave David victory over Goliath, we trust that you will bring victory into our lives. We speak to the giants that stand before us, whether it's fear, anxiety, doubt, or despair, and we declare in the name of Jesus that they must fall. Every chain that holds us back, every obstacle that stands in our way, we declare it broken in Jesus' name. We stand in the victory that Jesus won for us on the cross. Lord, we also ask for your favor. As we move forward in faith, we ask for open doors, for opportunities, and for divine favor to rest upon us. Just as David's victory led to favor in his life, we pray that our faith and obedience would lead to your blessings being poured out on us. Surround us with your favor as with a shield and let us experience your goodness in every area of our lives. Father, we also lift up those around us who are struggling. We pray for our families, our friends, and our communities. For those facing their own giants, we ask that you strengthen them, encourage them, and fill them with hope. Let them know that they are not alone, that you are fighting for them, just as you fight for us, we pray for breakthrough, for healing, for restoration, and for peace in their lives. And finally, Lord, we surrender everything to you. Just as David didn't rely on his own strength, we choose to rely on you. 
we surrender our plans, our fears, our doubts, and our dreams into your hands. We trust that you are working all things together for our good. Help us to walk in faith, knowing that you are always with us, guiding our steps and leading us into victory. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We trust in your power, your love, and your promises. And we declare that in you, we have all the strength and courage we need to face whatever lies ahead. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.